Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. In today's video, I want to show you some of my very favorite variegated plants. So I've been meaning to make this video for, um, for a while now and then this morning uh, when I was making breakfast, I always watch some YouTube videos as I make breakfast. I was watching Kaylee Allen's uh, newest video and it's about um, easy to find, I think, or like more common variegated plants that is not gonna, that's not super expensive. And that kind of inspired me to film my um, variegated plant video today. Oh, I'm a little bit out of breath because I just ran downstairs to help Wolfie with something. Um, yeah, I really, really love these plants. They are so gorgeous. Oh, just so you guys know, I didn't put any Hoyas on this list because I show you guys my Hoyas so much. So today is like, you know, I'm gonna showcase other plants other than Hoyas. Um, but yeah, I think they're so gorgeous, especially some of them, each leaf will emerge and the variegation will look different. And each leaf will just be like a work of art, like a painting. Um, by themselves. I really love these variegated plants, so we'll just go ahead and I'm just gonna show you these plants. How should I do this? I have like groups of plants. I have a group of Syngonium, Philodendron, um, Monstera, some Calathea, so maybe I'll just show them to you in groups. And the easiest one to show you guys right now is just the, this one behind me. For those of you, of you who have been following me for a while, you probably have seen this plant a few times. It's always on my easy to take care of plants or like when I do like an annual, my favorite plant of the year, it's always on the list. The, this ficus tanicae is my original, like one of my original plants when I first started um, bringing plants into my home. And back then I didn't realize it's, uh, you don't find, you don't see uh, a tanicae with this much white border um, as often. Sorry, as I'm touching the plants, I'm just like, so naturally, instinctually checking for pests as, as I'm looking at the plant. I think this plant actually was on Kaylee Allen's list uh, this morning. This is a bit of a common plant. You could find ficus tanicae quite easily and readily um, in your garden centers. They are just absolutely stunning. And when the new leaf first emerge, it's quite pink. So this one does require a little bit more light, but if you don't give it so much light, it just, um, you know, it just grows a little bit slower and leggier, but it's still really beautiful. I don't know if you noticed, but there are some um, browning on some of the leaves. I don't know if uh, what that's about. It could be pest issue. It could be like irregular watering. Um, I'm not sure, but overall, it's just like a really, really easygoing, beautiful plant that I am so glad that I got. It used to be like a much smaller plant and it's been with me for years. So the next one that I want to show you, I just got this actually. This is another ficus. This is a ficus triangularis variegata. This plant for the, the duration of my collecting plants has been a really like rare plant. You just can't, it's just really expensive and it rarely comes into market. And then I always hear that it's super finicky to take care of. So I've never actually tried to grab one when I see it being available. But recently it has really dropped down in price. I have noticed it come into market at a lower uh, pr price point. Um, so I've been kind of keeping an eye out. And then my friend Shannon found one for like $7 at Canadian Tire. So she picked one up for me. Um, so like, I'm not as scared to try to care for this plant, you know, at that pr price point, because it's such a, it's got such a fuzzy reputation. Um, so right now I'm, I have it in my cabinet under the grow light. This is what I heard that it needs like the humidity and like the bright light. So that's how I'm caring for this one. I'll, I'll give, keep you guys posted on how it's doing. So that's the ficus family. The next family I want to do, let's do the Monstera. Um, I, this is my Monstera <laughs> Thai constellation. I <laughs> think it's so beautiful. The variegation, and I, I, it's a little bit creamier than the elbow, so 
I like that it's not just like pure white. It's got a little bit like yellow hue to it. I just think it's so gorgeous. Yeah. I've been like, I waited for a while to get this plant because I wanted to have like a mature specimen and the, the price point has been really high. So I've just been kind of waiting until I, I found this like a bigger size for the price that it is at. And I was really happy with the purchase. Um, yeah, I just think it's super gorgeous. And then the next um, Monstera I want to show you is a Monstera Adansonii elbow. This plant I got as a, um, a stem that was rooted, a rooted stem that didn't have any leaves. And I heard that it's like notoriously easy to revert, but so far every single leaf I've gotten has been has, has had a little bit of irrigation. I've been keeping it in relatively low light conditions. So I am going to actually, I have been actually exposing it to a little bit more light to see if the next leaf will have a bit more variegation. Yeah, I'm just playing around with it, but I am happy to see like the newest leaf is definitely bigger than the previous leaves. A really, really beautiful plant. The mother plant I have seen, it's just like the entire strand of the plant is half moon. So like half white, half green is absolutely stunning. Yeah, I really love this one. I think the biggest group of um, family I have here is the Calathea. So maybe I'll just show you guys the Calatheas next. Hmm, what's this one called? I have seen it being called a couple of names. So I'm just going to double check. I want to say at least one name correctly. Calathea mosaica. I have seen this plant so many times online and it was a little bit harder to find and also again like at a higher price point. Being a Calathea, I just didn't feel good spending like a lot of money for a plant that I wasn't sure I could like take good care of. Um, but Recently, the price point, again, of this guy dropped for this, like, it wasn't as full when I got it, but it was pretty full already. So for this size, it was like $10 Canadian that I got this plant for. So at that po price point, I was comfortable to bring it home and give it a try. And also I have had over a year experience with Calatheas now, and I have had a couple that has performed pretty well for me. So I just feel a little bit more confident in my ability to care for for this plant. What am I doing? I give it not really bright light, medium amount of light. Um, I let, let it dry out almost like 80% to 85%, so almost completely dry. Um, and then I give it like around 70% humidity to keep the leaves from um, browning. I also try to give it filter water instead of just tap water. I'm a little bit religious about that because since I've been doing that I haven't had as much browning in the leaves. But I've also heard like I live in BC or in, Van in around Vancouver. I also heard that our water is actually okay to to feed like calatheas and like carnivorous plants. I just haven't I just haven't like risked or like tried it out yet because yeah, my Calatheas, I don't have many and I've really like make, made an effort to make them look beautiful. So I didn't really want to risk it. So I just have a Brita filter and of all my plants, I only water Calatheas with filter water and Morentas. So that's that Calathea. And the next one is really like one of my very favorite plants. And every time I see it in store, if it's a big one, I really want to bring, bring home and uh, that's the Calathea orbifolia. This one, originally I had, I think three plants in here and it was even like a larger plant. But right after I moved to this home, it, um, it started to brown and die and like dwindle into something that my husband was like, you should just toss that, that looks so ugly. And we didn't know, I didn't think it was gonna bounce back, but leaf by leaf by leaf, it finally, put out like, you know, less ugly leaves. I still have some browning, um, like this one still got the brown edge, 
but most most of the plan looks beautiful so yeah and uh, as it became fuller then I was able to cut out the really brown and like unattractive leaves so yeah that's the only reason why I haven't brought in more of these plants because I just think if I bring in, even if it looks beautiful and big in the store, it's going to go through the adaptation process of losing leaves and then I have to wait for the new ones to come out. So I might as well just be patient with this one and for it to just continue to grow into like a bigger beauty. And the good thing about Calatheas is even though they're quite fussy and like it's tricky to get the care right, well, they are like really fast growers. They are right, really satisfying to watch because like almost like every time you check on the plant, you'll see a couple like tubes poking out from the soil. Like it's working on new leaves. I say that, but I don't have any new leaves on this particular one at the moment. Um, but let me show you. The mosaica has um, just like multiple tubes on the bottom that is like look working on like one, two, three, four, five new leaves. So these will be like the new leaves I'm furling in my home and my care. Um, I'll have to see how they do. I actually had to repot it almost right after bringing it home because it was so, there were just like so many new shoots coming out. I wanted it to have a bigger pot. And another one that I really love, Fasciata. This one looks a lot like my, um, the Orbifolia, it's got that like petal shaped leaf and stripes, but like a different tone, different color tone and darker like vein, vein, veining in the middle. I think it's so gorgeous. Actually, when I look at it in the screen like this, it reminds me of a Philodendron Luxurian. It's just so gorgeous. Um, but I can see like three new leaves right now, like in here. There's one here. There's one like right here, and there's another one right here. So yeah, Calatheas are just, they're so satisfying to grow because they really grow quite quickly. Yeah, I feel like I, the ones that I have in my house, I have kind of figured out what they like. So I'm really happy with those plants. I really love them. They are so gorgeous. And then the last one is the one you've seen quite a few times, the like little, Calathea yellow fusion um, that I got a cutting from my, my brother's import and back then it was just it didn't have any roots so it, it's this one it's rooted now and these are the two new leaves that it's put out it's just so precious this is just such a pretty plant yeah it's gonna if I do play my cards right it's still gonna take me like years to have a fuller plant of this but I, I really love it and, and um, I enjoy watching it grow. I think it's so beautiful. I am, what's the word, differential? Partial. I'm partial to yellow variegation versus white variegation. Speaking of which, maybe we'll just um, jump right into the next kind of little category of variegated plants I want to show you guys, which is the syngonium. I have these beneficial insects that's like hanging on the plants. I don't really like how they look, so I'm gonna take it off when I sh I'm showing you the plants. This is my Syngonium elbow. I've shown you guys this plant recently in my cabinet tour video. It's one of my favorite variegated plants. It's just so, so pretty. It is. Variegations are so gorgeous. So Kaylee Allen actually was talking about this plant um, in her channel and she said in some places the prices have come down and I think we are one of those places. It's no longer like a really, really hard, like expensive or it's not considered a rare plant anymore. I don't think where I am, BC, um, Canada. Just really beautiful variegations. I didn't really like how it was growing in soil. It was getting super laggy. Maybe I just wasn't giving it enough light. So I chopped it off and I rerooted it in pond. And this is when I realized how much syngoliums enjoy being in pond. I actually feel like a lot of my aeroids, when I transfer into pond, they really love it too. So this is this one. But between this one and the syngonium aurea, I really prefer the aurea. I think the Aurea, Syngonium Aurea, is just 
so stunning i think mine is going through something like i don't know if you guys can see in the camera but this leaf is like a little bit see-through i'm not sure if it's like overwatering or cold damage my guess it's either you know one of it could be one of those but yeah i love the yellow variegation i think it's so beautiful this one also, I, I chopped my plant into two and I'm, I share the bottom half with my brother and this is the top half that I'm keeping for myself. This, uh, the root system, it's interesting. Maybe because the elbow is a much more like mature plant, the roots are so much thicker than the Oreas roots. I love it. This one I'm keeping in the cabinet and so it's pretty warm, pretty humid, but really low light, just in a corner with low light. All right, those are the two. And then I have, okay, just a couple like, some philodendrons, three philodendrons, and a couple like miscellaneous. Uh, maybe I'll go with the miscellaneous first. This plant I love so much. Um, I got it from Etsy, just like a few seeds, and I grew it for myself. Um, just under the grow light and like on top of something warm. Um, it's an Oxalis, Cori, Corium, Bosa, Oreo, Reticulata. <laughs> this is the name, really long. I posted a picture of this plant. This is the plant. Maybe because it's nighttime, it's trying to fold in a little bit, so harder to see. But maybe I'll post a photo of it so then you guys could look at that variegation. It's so pretty. I'm trying to get the focus right. Anyways, yeah, I think this is so pretty. Anyway, so that's the one of the miscellaneous. And the other one, I've shown you guys this a few times. I love the succulent, this variegated succulent. And since we're talking about variegated plants, and of course, I'll just have to bring it up again because it's really one of my favorite variegated plants. This one was also on Kaylee Allen's list this morning and I couldn't agree with her more. This one is one of my favorite variegated plants and this is the Bromarks um, Variegata. Philodendron Bromarks Variegata. It is just, I love this variegation so much. The yellow and like, look at how I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so beautiful. I'll just let the plant speak for itself. It has always, always sat in my grow tent. Ever since I got it as a cutting, I don't even think it was rooted. Um, but lately, but recently I saw like a lot of mold buildup in the pot. So I repotted it and just scooped out the mold. Actually, I changed up in the entire like um, potting medium and I have been growing it in my living room ever since then just to I know that it doesn't really need that much humidity and that much Light I was just keeping it in there because it has been growing so beautifully in there But yeah, it has been now just living in my living room So Kaylee Allen was saying that this plant just grows so fast I do see a lot of growth points, but I don't find mine to be just like like such a fast grower. I guess I've had this for maybe half a year and it was like a two leaf, two, three leaf plant, maybe three leaf plant when I first got it. So, and, and I had to cut out maybe just a couple of leaves since I've gotten it. So it, it hasn't been growing. It's not like a huge difference, but it has grown a lot. <laughs> there you go. I love this plant. The next philodendron I want to show you is way more expensive than, um, than this one. But I actually don't love it more than this one. Um, the price has calmed down for the next one I want to show you, but it's still a much like a rarer or more expensive plant than, than this one. But I don't know. I th this, <laughs> this is the Philodendron Florida Beauty. I have gotten, it was a three leaf plant when I got it, maybe back in the summer. And, and then I had taken a cutting of two leaves and sold that. So, but then it has been really stagnant. It hasn't really grown 
a lot since I, I cut it. The root system is pretty good. I think it's time for repot when it, uh, when spring comes, but I'm not gonna touch it right now. The variegation is really beautiful. And I have always really loved my philodendron Florida ghost. So I really was like looking for this plant for a long time. But after owning it for, for half a year, I just feel like I really don't love it more than my burl marks variegata. I think the variegation on the burl marks variegata is actually like more beautiful than my Florida beauty. I don't know. They're both really gorgeous. We don't, we don't have to choose a favorite. Back and then the last plant I want to show you is this gorgeous philodendron Jose Bueno. <laughs> I've gotten it as a pretty big plant. This is the first leaf that is unfurled in my grow tent. Go. All right, guys, that's the last one. I don't know what to say about this. The only thing I want to tell you is that um, the reason why I want, wanted this plant was because I watched Rick Moore, Moore, I don't know how to say his last name, but I can post YouTube channel in my description box below. He just has this gigantic one in his garden and it's so gorgeous and every time I watch his video, I just want to have this plant and I'm really happy that I got it and I think it's, it's really beautiful and so far has been really easy going. And the new like, the new leaf point looks really white. So I don't know, I am excited to see what the next variegated leaf is gonna look like. It's really exciting. Oh, you know what? I also had meant to grab my um, Skindapsis Exotica and Skindapsis Painted Splash, I think, and one other, two other tiny little plants, that, but I didn't bring them. Maybe I'll just like insert a little footage of those plants at the end of the video as like a little bonus variegated plants for you guys to see. I didn't really sleep well last night and halfway through filming this video, I feel like I just ran out of steam. So if you notice my energy level being a little bit low, that's why. So these are all the plants I brought here to show you. I hope you enjoy seeing them. Let me know which one you like the best. That's all from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you again soon. Bye, stick around for the, the bonus plants. Bye.